Hi, preschoolers. <clears throat> it's teacher John here. Good to see everybody again. Today is our last day with our wonderful read aloud story, one, two, threes of art. So why don't you join me, grab your book with you, if you'd like to follow along. We have three, three <laughs> new words today to learn. Our first one is treat. Ch -ch is the first sound we hear in treat. It's something sweet that we eat when we are being good preschoolers, right? Good kindergartners, yeah, treat. Our next one is soar. S is the first sound we hear in soar. It's when something flies in the sky like a bird, soar. Yeah, maybe you could pretend you're a bird and you can soar around your home. <laughs> Our next one is blue. B is the first sound we hear in blue. Blue is a color like the sky or the sea. Green and yellow preschoolers make blue. So if you put green and yellow together, they make blue. Yeah. All right, let's look at the words we're learning. Brush. It's a tool used to paint with brush. Tall. Tall is when someone has long legs or when something reaches the sky. Tall. Painted. Painted is when you use paint to color something like a picture. Painted. Float. It's when something moves on top of the water or in the air and sky. Float, just like this girl. She likes to float in the water. Wove, wove, is when we move strings together in a pattern to make like a blanket. Wove. See, see. A big body of water and has plants and animals in it. See. All right. Okay, friends, let's listen for our words as we read along in our story. Here we go. One. One girl poses with a bow in her hair. Gustave Clement painted her with a confident stare. See the bow? Right in her hair. Two, two yellow chairs offer visitors a seat. Vincent Van Gogh painted them in his bedroom suite. Can you find the two chairs? Yeah. One, two. Three, three juicy pears glint with vivid green hues. Paul Cezanne painted them from multiple views. Mmm, what does a pear taste like to you, preschoolers? Like juicy and sweet? Yeah. Four. Four trees grow tall. It's one of our words. Toward the sky. Cloud Monet. Monet painted them stretching up high. Look at that. And then you can see the reflection in the water of the trees. Ooh. Five. Five beautiful butterflies float up above. Odeline Radon painted them with lots of love. There's the butterflies. And they have beautiful patterns on their wings too, don't they? Six. Six buttons line the dress on this young girl. Frederick Bazil painted them by giving his brush a twirl. Brush, it's one of our words, isn't it? Brush. Seven. Seven elegant people stroll in, in single file. Henry Rousseau painted them with a great style. There they are. They have great style, don't they? Some, they look like they're dressed to go somewhere very nice. Yeah. 
eight. Eight friends frisk and frolic out in the sun. Winslow Homer painted them having lots of fun. Look at that. Looks like they're playing a fun game. Nine. Nine squares feature people, animals, and plants. Sarah Ann Wilson wove them in a scene that enchants. Wove. It's one of our words. She made a beautiful blanket or quilt. She wove the squares together. Ten. Ten round oranges look good enough to eat. Pierre Auguste Renoir painted them as a special treat. Yeah. It looks like she wasn't able to carry all of them. She dropped some of the oranges. Eleven. Eleven red berries glisten ripe and fresh. Adrian Quartet painted them with striped flesh. Look at beautiful berries. Ooh, they look delicious. Twelve. Twelve vibrant squares contain circles and loops. Circles and loops. Vasily Kandensky painted them in multiple groups. Those beautiful colors. I love the green on this one, and the blue. I love the yellow. Beautiful. Oh, and the purple in the corner there. Very pretty. Thirteen. Thirteen yellow petals decorate the blue background. Paul Gagan painted them with, with tropical items he found. Hmm, what tropical items do you see? You see the mangoes? Mangoes, tropical. Fourteen. Fourteen beautiful shells all come from the sea. Maria Sublaya Marianne painted them lovely as can be. Do you see the beautiful patterns? Look at the patterns in the seashells. We've been talking about patterns, haven't we? Yeah. Almost kind of look like hearts in the middle one there. Fifteen. Fifteen animals unite and peacefully play. Edward Hicks painted them in a diverse array. Do you see some animals? Yeah, yeah, me too. Sixteen. Sixteen musicians and performers dance and sing. Chu Ying painted them celebrating the season of spring. Looks like they're doing all kinds of interesting things, dancing, and playing music, and painting. Yeah. Oh boy, we're getting up there. 17. 17 playful dogs nibble on a snack. John Charles Dahlman painted them in a lively pack. Look at that. 17 puppy dogs. Oh boy. Do you think your mom and dad will let you have 17 pets? <laughs> 18. 18 rectangles form an iconic design. Pete Mondrian painted each with a bold outline. Really neat rectangles. Ooh, this is a long rectangle. This one kind of looks like a square. Here's a blue rectangle and a big white square in the middle. 19. 19 Egyptian figures stand side by side. They were painted to protect a great treasure inside. Look at that. Do you think that's new or old? Very old, from a long time ago. 20, we made it, 20. 20, l 20 lucky cranes soar through the night. Uh, Emperor Ho Zing painted them gracefully in flight. Look at that. Beautiful cranes, trying to fly, maybe find some food and some water. Great job. And on the back of here, friends, it has, tells you all about each picture in the number, friends, and when it was painted. Yeah. Very neat. The end. Wonderful. Well, that was fun, preschoolers. I was glad that we could share that story with, with each other. We can see some really neat paintings and practice our numbers and learn some fun words.
Which reminds me, we gotta see how fast we can go. Ready? How fast can we go? How fast can we go? Let's say some words that we know. Okay, you ready? Mix, mix, mix them up here. Mix, mix, mix. All right, if you know the word, you can say it out loud. Here we go. Blue. Sower. Treat. Brush. Painted. Tall. Sea. Wove. Float. Great job, preschoolers. We learned a bunch of new words today. Keep up the great work, keep on reading, and I'll see you again soon. Okay, bye everybody.